Good morning, guys. Right now it is 9.19. I'm surprised it's not like 11 o'clock by now with the way I keep going back to sleep because that's normally how it is. I'll wake up to my alarm, turn it off, go back to sleep, and then I don't even realize it's been hours until uh, I just wake up naturally and look at the time. I'm so tired, which is not healthy. I need to go to bed earlier. <laughs> but regardless of what time I go to sleep, it's like I don't want to wake up late. But we're going to go ahead and get up, make some breakfast. I'm going to feed my cats because I'm just going to keep feeling super duper tired unless I actually get out of bed. So it's 10 10 and I'm finally actually sitting up. I'm about to actually get out of bed. It's been like uh, 40 minutes. It's been like 50 minutes. I'm I slept with my window open. I'm in my kitchen and we're gonna make some breakfast. I just fed my cats. I really need to work on as soon as I wake up, I just get out of bed because it's not good to like lay in bed. Like after you wake up, it's good to get up, kind of do what you need to do, and then you can sit on your phone and not do shit. I don't even know what I want to eat for breakfast. We got eggs, we got pancake mix. Maybe I should make pancakes because I haven't in a while and I've had this mix for a while. Let me. This is the Kodiak Cakes Power Cake Protein Pancakes. This is in the flavor Cinnamon Oats, which I've never seen or heard. So maybe we should do these. I can't, uh, like... Ah, they both look stupid. Yeah, we're gonna make these. Honestly, fuck eggs. I don't wanna eat that shit right now. Do I have turkey bacon? I do. I'm gonna have pancakes, turkey bacon, and like some yogurt or something. Anything but eggs. But I'm getting tired and it's getting to the point where I get so nauseous trying to eat eggs because it's so weird. Because it's, I don't even think it's the fact that I eat them so repetitively. It's like it is, but it's not in a sense because I have certain foods that I can eat super repetitively and never get tired. Like I have foods that I've been eating pretty frequently for like years and I don't get tired. It's just eggs and just certain food. Like I have to take breaks, but we're gonna make some pancakes. It smells good. There's like little chips of something in it. I don't know what it is. I'm so bad at estimating how much I should use. Either make way too much or not enough. Okay, this is enough for literally one pancake. Oh, there's like oatmeal in it because there's cinnamon oat. Missed the memo, even though it's right on the box. I have coffee that I want to drink so bad, but I just don't think it's smartest right now if I plan on going to the gym. That's just, uh, I didn't even turn on the pan. That's just a lot of sugar right before a workout, and then also it's super dehydrating, and that's like the last thing you want during a workout, because then whenever you actually work out, you're going to try to drink a lot of water during your workout because you're dehydrated, and that's how you get cramped and feel like you're literally about to throw up just from water alone. I'm just going to wait for this pan to heat up, and we're going to start making some breakfast. I'm very hungry, so I'm excited. I was thinking how, I was already thinking last night what I wanted to eat for lunch this morning and I want to make like a wrap and I have some stuff to make a wrap but I kind of want to get different items to put in the wrap than I have like right now I have ham turkey cheese stuff like that but I kind of want to do more of like a like I want to do like mozzarella cheese and some other type of meat other than ham or turkey Maybe we'll do that because at some point today, I'm definitely going to want to go grocery shopping. Not do a whole bunch of grocery shopping because I don't need a whole lot. But instead of going to Target or Walmart, I want to go to Trader Joe's because I've only been there once since I've lived here. And I feel like that would be a super fun store to go in. And they have a lot of food that's catered towards one person. It's not huge bags, huge servings. And I think that's good for me because since I live alone, you know, I eat at my own pace. Like, I don't have somebody that lives here that's able to consume the food 24-7 to eat things so they don't go bad. So I feel like Trader Joe's would be good for me because I'd rather run out of something and go back and get more instead of have too much and the rest of it rotting. But I have some butter here. What we're not about to do is burn these pancakes. Those chips have been there since like December 1st, but we're just gonna let them do their thing. Y'all will not believe what I found at the store yesterday. I literally found Lysol disinfectant spray. I thought this shit was sold out everywhere. And I think it still is for a lot of places, but I happened to be at Walmart and they had loads of this stuff and I was so excited because I've been looking for this everywhere and I was actually on Amazon the other night seeing if they had it on Amazon and it was like $34 a can and they didn't even have it for Prime shipping. So I definitely did not go with that option. So I'm so happy I waited. I've already sprayed this everywhere multiple times. Like, I'll spray it and then I'll spray it again like an hour later. I mean, number one, because it's disinfecting. But number two, it smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. It smells like a daycare. Uh, and I was never even in daycare, per se. But, like, for example, my parents used to be in the gym super consistently. They would train people at gym facilities. So, you know, people would bring their kids. And all the kids would go into, like, this room at the gym that looks like a daycare. But it's not a daycare because you're only there for, like, an hour or so. But this just reminds me of it because they would use this stuff. And I'll never see them use it. I would just smell it. And this is what 
what it was. I don't know, it's that linen scent in general. Y'all didn't ask for a Lysol review. I'm gonna go ahead and get another pan so I can start making some turkey bacon. So I'm actually gonna make sausage because that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, I have turkey bacon too, but we're gonna go with this. I was told to put water at the bottom of the pan, like just a little bit, so they don't get as much of a char on them. Like they don't basically burn. So we're gonna do that. I did this yesterday, and I do feel like it helps. I'm just gonna make sure to do a little bit because I really don't want a watery sausage. I think yesterday I made like two or three. We're gonna do three. My stomach like literally attacks me in the morning if I don't eat as soon as I wake up. What did I ever do to you? Like my stomach feels like it's eating itself right now. It's so bad I'm fiending for food. Does anybody else get like that? Where in the morning they're literally starving. I just feel like I haven't eaten in so long. All right, so the water didn't really do anything. The sausage absorbed it and it just looks the same as it always does. If there's any other methods you recommend, let me know. But it also be tasting good as fuck regardless. So let's go ahead and get some water. <laughs> Cranberry juice at least. Okay, so this is what my breakfast looks like. We got my cinnamon oat protein pancakes. We got some sausage, some Greek yogurt with both raspberries and strawberries. Actually using the fruit I buy before it rots in my fridge, a concept. I cannot go to the gym working out unless I eat a full ass meal before my workout and I'm still hungry, but we're just gonna ignore that part. But I do my part and I do eat a full meal so my body feels fueled enough to go in on it like I do. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, do my best to finish it and I'll talk to you guys once I'm done. Okay, wait, because when I I tell you that water went somewhere in that pan right I thought it either evaporated or you know the sausage just absorbed it the sausage most definitely absorbed it because this shit is so juicy anyways so I will put those dishes away right now but with the way I get hungry so quickly we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next task which is getting dressed for the gym you know what it should actually be making my bed how about that? <laughs> Let me tell you that this winter candy apple wallflower literally smells so good. As soon as I walk in my room, it hits me in the face and I love it, but we're gonna go ahead and make my bed so I at least have something, you know, a little put together to come back to. Okay, so what do we wanna wear today? Well, to the gym, because afterwards, I don't give a fuck what I'm wearing. Um, well, it kind of depends on what sports bra or what top I'm wearing because I like to match, but then I'll probably wear a shirt anyways. I like these leggings. I got shorts too. I think it's way too cool for them. Oh yeah, for anyone asking where my wig is, where's your wig at? Oh my gosh, where's your wig? Where did it go? It's right here, baby. <laughs> on the cabinet yeah i took my wig off because i only plan on keeping it in for four days so that's exactly what i did i had it in before i posted pictures of it believe it or not i had it in before i posted the video and then at the gym i wanted to get back to working out and i could work out with a wig on but we wear a mask the whole entire workout you don't take it off to do any sets none of that and then the wig Look, with regular feedings, my hair be stinking after a week and a half. I can't even imagine going out of my way to sweat with my head being trapped under a wig. Like, I'm good on that. Y'all can do that. Personally, for my head, I was good on that. After that wig, I could definitely see myself doing that again. You know, maybe make it a little serious or something. I washed my hair last night. I'm looking for a scrunchie to put my hair up. I was looking for something that maybe matched, but I don't. It really doesn't matter, but where's my scrunchie? Oh my gosh, I was at the gym yesterday and I like walked in and you know, they don't have, you don't use like your personal membership thing that you scan anymore. It's all online to just keep things as touch free as possible. So I went in, I had my thing pulled up. So it was scanned and he was like, have a good workout or like have a good one or whatever. And then he said the same thing again, a little bit louder. So I was like, oh shit, like maybe he didn't hear me. I was like, okay, attitude. Like maybe he just um, didn't hear me the first time, but he was talking to somebody else that was leaving. Cause anytime you leave, they always say like, have a good day but I said thank you again wasn't even talking to me I turned my ass around to say thank you and he wasn't even talking to me I'm so glad I had a mask on because the embarrassment on my face was fucking hilarious and it's so funny because like I know he did not give a shit but um I just thought that was so embarrassing for me okay so we're gonna lay my edges Today at the gym, I'm gonna do more of like a glute focus workout because I really don't do that anymore. Or like when I do lower body, I kind of just focus on like quads, hamstrings, a little bit of glutes, but like mostly quads and hamstrings, but actual glute focus workout. And then again, like I still won't do glute, glute focus. I'm just gonna do just a couple exercises that are literally known to be really good for your glutes. 
But yeah, when I had the wig on, I wasn't going to the gym. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't be super uncomfortable, but just the idea with like as much as I sweat and then it being like trapped under a wig, nah. Like it would have had to come off right after that workout anyways. But don't ever plan on me keeping it in for more than like days because that's what I want to do. So that's all I'm doing for my hair. Put this shirt on maybe. Or let me put on some lotion and deodorant first. Oh my gosh, this lotion right here, this EOS Shea Butter Vanilla Cashmere Lotion literally will have you smelling like frosting. It's so nice and I mean that. Just thought I'd let you guys know that I found my blue scrunchie. It was literally on the kitchen counter. I did tie it around twice instead of once like it was the last time you guys saw it. It was just looking flat when I only had it wrapped around once. So here we are. But I am about to head downstairs so we can start heading to the gym. So I'll talk to you guys once we get into the car. Bye guys. They don't give a fuck. Ha. It's like 43 degrees outside and I am literally freezing. It's so cold. Y'all see what I'm wearing, right? Little crop top, little jacket. It's cute in the gym because I be sweating my ass off. But outside, not as much. And I've still yet to invest in a jacket, like a big puffy jacket. So here we are, but it's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, like I swear. I go back and look at my old content. I was looking back at a video where it was literally this temperature. Wasn't wearing any type of jacket, no nothing. Like it was normal. Like that's cute, like that's funny. Like girl, I know damn well you was freezing. Who you trying to impress? Cause nobody gave a fuck. Nobody cares, lad. Apparently I have a heated steering wheel and I don't even know how to use it. Didn't even know I had one. Like I knew it had heated seats, but steering wheel, had no idea and I still don't know how to use it, so. I don't like to complain, but let's go on just a little rant for a second because I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about how I just hate like it's scary driving around people It's scary driving around pedestrians because I always feel like I'm gonna run somebody over always got to be paying attention Which is a given when you're driving but then it's like they don't pay attention and I understand pedestrians always have the right of way You should always allow them to go first before you but it's like they don't even look They don't even look and it scares the shit out of me because I live in an area where tons of people walking You know hanging out outside crossing in the street and they literally will just be either on their phone or just not giving a fuck not even acknowledging that there is a vehicle this vehicle is over 3,000 pounds you act like it like this shit could not literally run you over like you don't even care to look yes I will stop for you but it's like they don't even care to check if there's a, I can never I'm always looking both ways before I cross the street because you never know even though the rule is that pedestrians are supposed to go first like what if they just weren't paying attention and you literally just run into the street and there you go because it was annoying because I was or I was driving like out of my complex area and I was driving at like a decent speed I was not going super fast just the average speed that anybody drives through that street and this girl literally just goes to do some fast walk across the street didn't even look twice not once and then she gave me like some not dirty look but she just gave me some sort of tood which I can understand but don't do me that should be pissing me off don't mm, that little tood that stank ass attitude I don't want to see it Okay. Anyway, so I'm on my way to the gym now. I'm super excited. I went yesterday and I'm going again today. I didn't go for at least a week because number one, that wig had it in for like four days. And then, yeah, I just didn't go days before that. I've said this multiple times as well, but I never put pressure on myself for not going because I know I'll go back. It's something I enjoy doing, so it's not like it would be hard for me to get back into it because if anything, my body craves it after going without it for too long. It's like a healthy habit because I don't overwork myself. For example, taking a break for a week no issue with that or like if I'm on vacation or I have company staying over I'm not gonna make myself go I am sore from my workout I did yesterday which is good I like being sore because it makes me feel like I'm actually making progress and it's not even like I'm working towards a specific goal at all I just kind of work out because it's a part of my lifestyle and it makes me feel good even whenever I first started back in March of last year I really didn't have a specific goal that I was trying to achieve but I did find myself seeing progress super quick because whenever you go from doing absolutely nothing to just kind of going in you're gonna see progress a lot faster whenever you first start because you're going from absolutely nothing to something so your body's gonna react to it differently than when you've been doing it for six months eight months a year you're gonna see progress a lot slower so I feel like that's kind of the phase I'm in now but once again I like where I'm at now and it's kind of just a matter of maintaining that but yeah that's pretty much it I know y'all didn't come to hear some fitness chat this 
literally what I grew up around, so I just kind of naturally can talk about it. But so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gym, play some music, and I'll get back with you guys once we get there. All right, guys, so we made it to the gym. I've been sitting in the car for like 10 minutes, but we're about to actually go inside now. I mean, maybe at least put your bag under the seat or something, babe. You really just want people to break in. The gym, it could be an enjoyable place to be. Like, I like being here, but it can also be awkward sometimes. So, like, every time I come in here and have an interaction with, like, somebody at the front desk, checking in or anything like that, I'm always like, all right, good. That was a little less awkward than the day before. Okay, guys, so I am back from my workout, and I literally had such a good workout. That was definitely the most kick-ass workout I've had in a while and it feels really good let me tell you let me just let's just talk about bulgarian split squats for a second bulgarian split squats are when your back leg on like a bench and you have the other one in front of you and you lunge with like dumbbells or you don't have to use dumbbells it's still beneficial oh i steer away from those so much even though i shouldn't because they're so beneficial and whenever i started doing those i noticed they're very effective i'll give them that but they hurt it hurts but whenever you're done you just feel so good and you get such a good hump so that was nice and then whenever i left i had a good conversation with this dude that i've talked to before our first conversation started about cars and so we had just seen each other again so we just had a conversation i just like talking to people that like i don't really know it's just refreshing to have conversations with new people no matter what it's about honestly and it just helps with my communication skills people skills i'm ready to eat i've actually been better recently with not actually whenever i was doing i was doing like lemon squeezers which is like a core exercise i could literally feel because i couldn't hear because i had my earbuds in but i could feel my stomach growling every time i like contracted or like came back that's not good but it's not as uncomfortable as it used to be i don't know if that has to do with more filling meals or what but that's definitely been better so we're just gonna head home from here i'm gonna go ahead and go to trader joe's all right guys so i just got to trader joe's as you guys can see in the back there's a line and there was a line the last time i came here but it's not nearly as long this time and it's no longer burning hot outside so i'm okay with standing in the line it's really not even that long but there's always a line to get into this store regarding filming in here i have very conflicted feelings because one it's just so I don't know why I feel uncomfortable in that store or when I try to film it's like a small space and the smaller the space the more uncomfortable I feel with vlogging in that area if that makes sense but then on the other hand is people don't give a fuck and if they do they'll forget about it 10 seconds later so you know we'll just see we'll just see what I decide to do let me go ahead and wait in line before it gets even longer I just got out of Trader Joe's and I actually had a really good experience. Even though there was a line, there wasn't many people in there because they were limiting the amount of people that could go in at the same time. And then also everyone was just super nice. The workers are always nice. That's not the issue. I don't know why I just feel, I'm just not as comfortable in that store as let's say Target right but i got a lot of good stuff a lot of things i didn't need but it's food and i'm gonna consume it i'm going to actually like i'm gonna eat it and there's actually a couple things i'm super excited to try that we're gonna do little taste tests on once i get back to the house and i also got food that i could just kind of eat right now i'm so excited because i didn't want to not only cook i did not even want to prepare anything but i didn't want to go through like a drive through or anything like that so here we are i'm really excited i'm so excited because i just got home i brought all my groceries up we're gonna get into that in a second Second, but I did come home to three packages favorite thing ever I think I said this in a video before but I love receiving packages if I go to check my mail in the mail room Even if I didn't order anything I just check to make sure just in case I maybe forgot I ordered something or just anything like that I'm very excited to open these up Especially when I don't know exactly what it is because I'll order multiple things off of depop So I won't know like which item is coming this right here says coco kind on it did not order anything from this brand So this is probably uh, PR like a gift package it says it's nice to meet you. Okay I'm just gonna assume this is sustainable like wrapping paper, which is amazing one thing came out of the box But oh my god, it's skincare. I'm so excited. Oh wait, never mind It is this isn't supposed to be in a box. So Coco kind sent me their oil to milk cleanser that just sounds so intriguing looks like this they sent me their rose water toner sounds a lot more gentle for the skin compared to the one i'm using now which just literally smells like straight up rubbing alcohol and it's a glass bottle okay Okay. We got a daily SPF. This is perfect. I've been wanting a new sunscreen for my face because the one I have now, I didn't even initially get it for my face and it's super thick. So it kind of leaves like this white film on my face sometimes. And since this one is like an actual facial sunscreen lotion, 
and I'm sure that's not the case and I'm so excited because I've learned that it's very important to always have SPF on your skin even if the sun isn't out we got a texture smoothing cream that sounds cool okay love the super simple packaging it's so pretty we got a my matcha all over moisture stick that just that just sounds uh, absolutely amazing this is a revitalizing eye cream and then also we have the turmeric tonic leave-on spot treatment that is awesome well I know they're not watching this but thank you so much to Coco kind for sending me some amazing products I can't wait to try them and I'm gonna keep these in the box for now because I'm definitely gonna you know give them a little thank you that's like look so pretty so this next bag has to be from depop because it's in like a poly mailer and i use these same things to ship items out on depop you guys want to see what it is they don't give a fuck i'm always scared i'm gonna accidentally cut it yes okay so i ordered this from one of my favorite sellers to order things on depop from i'm gonna leave her information down in the description but she's where i get these like nike crewnecks where she embroiders them herself it's a white crew neck and then it has lilac nike cow print and it's so cute then i'm saving best for last if this is what i think it is you know how whenever you get a package in the mail with this this little thing on it usually means it's an electronic i've never received a package with that on it when it's not an electronic and the only electronic i sound like a grandma the only thing i've ordered recently that would have this symbol is a uh, a new phone so if it is that'll be nice because we could do a little unboxing together because definitely not something i would do a whole video about i remember at one point i completely made a video centered around going to get a new phone girl nobody can oh my god so I mentioned this in my last video, but I did order a new phone, but I didn't say which one I ordered. I ordered the iPhone 12 Max, like the bigger version. I used to always get the Max versions of their phones, or not always, I did it twice. The 7 Plus and the 10s, 10X Max. Whatever the fuck it's called, I don't even know. Then, whenever the 11 came out, I went with the smaller one because I liked the color choices better. And I wasn't a huge fan of the look of the 11 Pro. But then, like, as time went on, I was like, damn. Did I make the right decision? I enjoy materialistic items, but it's not something where I don't feel complete without it, if that makes sense. But if I do have the opportunity to upgrade, I will. The good thing is anytime I get a new phone, I pay it in full. I buy it unlocked, so it's not with a phone company, so I'm not paying it off monthly. So I own every phone I have so that way whenever I get a new phone I pass it down to my brother and my brother passes his down to my other brother and he passes his phone down to my sister and it goes down the line so it all works out that's crazy it looks really similar to an iPhone 5 like the body style and then it still has the three cameras all right so we're gonna open this up I open the box and this is what you see as soon as you open it okay so it comes with a charger this is what it looks like it really doesn't feel extremely bigger than the phone I have now I was about to say, it really doesn't feel that much different. I feel like it's a little bit longer. This phone has a case on it, so yeah, it's still not that big of a difference. This screen protector is fucked. I'm gonna have to get a new one for Simi before I give it to him. So basically, all I do, when I get a new phone, I use the little thing they give you to kind of take the SIM card out, and I put my SIM card that's in this phone into this phone, and that's it. All my photos are in Google Photos, so I don't have to worry about that. I can't remember if I do like a hard reset on the phone or not. I'll figure it out, or I'll ask Simi. This is what it looks like. Does the back have a covering on it? It does not. I thought it had like a film on it. I like how the sides are like mirrored, very mirrored. We can go ahead and power it on like so. I really like this color. I think this is what they call the silver, but to me it just looks white. Uh, like I see what they're saying, but I just like how clean it looks. The colorful phone was cute, but I'm excited to have something neutral. Yeah, there's definitely a size difference, but it's not that much different. The cameras on this phone are definitely bigger than this one. Yeah, I just feel like this one's a little bit longer. And I did already order a case and and screen protector for this phone so that's good i'm gonna pick the language the country quick start let's just go ahead and set up manually look at their uh, <laughs> wi-fi name oh that wasn't even the right password i'm dumb as fuck i literally made my own password okay, next it may take a few minutes to activate your phone so i guess i just wait i just ordered a clear case for the phone oh it's stuck face id let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna set up face id the quality of the front camera I post in four minutes. That's great. I literally get so excited every time it's time to upload a video. Like my heart. Who my no? It's like my stomach. Like I get jittery. Like I'm going on a date for the first time or something. Choose backup. 
I don't know, let's do the latest one maybe. I'm gonna set up my wallet later. I'm gonna set up Siri because I don't have Siri set up for this phone. And there's so many times where it would be so convenient to be able to just ask Siri for help, but my lazy ass never does it. So we're gonna go ahead and do it here. Okay, so now it's kind of restoring my iCloud or I think it's, it's basically, I think it's transferring like my iCloud onto that phone, if that makes sense. It doesn't to me because I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead, open this screen protector. Okay. Oh shit, I upload in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have that ready to upload. But yeah, I got three screen protectors for my phone. I could go ahead and put this on there while it's restoring. Okay, that actually, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone case on, not wasting any time with that because I drop my shit all the time. It's horrible, definitely not intentional. I just be dropping shit. Got the clear case. Just like so. Okay, wait, I forgot I have to take the case off because I need to put the SIM card in because there's no SIM card in this phone. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna put it right into the little SIM card hole. Okay, take it out. So now we're gonna go into this one, do the same thing. It's just gonna be an empty tray since there's no SIM card in here. Okay, so you put the SIM card into the little tray. At first it wasn't fitting, I was freaking out. I was like, ain't no way. Okay, and then you put it in. Then I'm gonna power my phone on and off and that should literally be it. And that's how you set it up. Okay, so I went to Trader Joe's as you guys know and I'm gonna give you guys a little preview of what I got. We got some baby arugula, just a different type of lettuce to eat my salad, spinach was getting tiring. We got some white cheddar corn puffs. These shits are so fire. These are so good. I remember eating these when I was younger. Oh my God. We got some vanilla meringues. I don't think I've ever had meringues before, but I feel like I know exactly what they taste like, which makes me question if I've had them before or not, but I really don't think I have. But there was a time, maybe even like a month or two ago, I was ready to order these shits on Amazon. Like this is what I had in my car, but I never ordered them. Y'all, I'm going in because it's been too long since my last meal. Sounds like chalk. Very sweet. It tastes exactly like something I can't think of. That doesn't help. I don't know, but it's good. The outside is super sweet. This corn puff shit, hitting. We got some pita chips. So this is bacon. It says no sugar, dry rubs, uncured bacon with no preservatives, it's lower sodium. Pork used, never given antibiotics or added hormones, so that's good. We got some tomato feta soup. Never heard of that before, but it looks super good. I got a spicy lentil wrap. Sounded bomb as fuck. We got some fresh, hard cooked, peeled eggs. I like to put these in my salad. We're just eating for breakfast if I don't feel like scrambling eggs. Because sometimes, even if I switch up the style, I make the eggs, it's fine. It's weird. I got this cilantro dressing that sounded so bomb. I only had one dressing, so that'll just be somewhat of a variety. This is what they call a protein palette, and it has Italian dry pepper coated uncured salami, roasted salted almonds, and Parmesan cheese crisps. This honestly doesn't sound like the most appetizing to me. I've had Parmesan crisps before, and they're not, not my fave. Almonds... They I but that was 31 grams of protein in it. 31 fucking grams of protein in this. Yeah, that's insane. I got this salami and provolone cheese platter thing. These are the two things that I was thinking of in my head when I was telling you guys I wanted to make a wrap earlier today. So I'll actually probably make one of these because I feel like that's gonna fill me up the most. But I feel like if I ate something that was wrapped in like a tortilla or something, I would feel fuller for longer. We got some Thai tea mini mochi. Oh my gosh, I got some shredded potato hash browns. I forgot these existed and I'm so excited. This is something, you know, different to eat. So then I got some Greek yogurt with honey because I'm running out of Greek yogurt. I'm very reliant on Greek yogurt, so I got some of that. We got some vanilla mochi, which I have never tried. I've never just seen like straight up vanilla, so excited to try these. I was gonna get hummus, but every time I get hummus, I never end up eating it. So I got this, it's Greek yogurt with avocado, diced cucumber, and a hint of jalapeno pepper. This sounded super good. Got some of that and I'll use like my pita chips to dip it in. Got some orange peach mango juice, sounded amazing. And then I also got some matcha green tea ice cream and this is the type of shit I would go into my freezer at 1am to eat. That's my haul from Trader Joe's. I'm super happy with everything I got. Trader Joe's is just a super fun store and they have a lot of items that are a little bit harder to find. Then again not really when I look at what I got but uh. See this shit happens every day. It's 444. Haven't eaten lunch. Haven't put the groceries away. Bitch what the fuck are Getting back. I do want to try mochi first though. At least the vanilla and then I'll feel okay to move on. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna make a wrap though. I'm not like stressing that. Oh my gosh, they're so perfect looking. <sighs> not for long. Oh my gosh, these are. I love mochi. These are my new favorite. Oh my, they're perfectly melted. They've been in room temperature, or not really room temperature. It's freezing outside, but they've just been sitting out for at least 20, 30 minutes since I got back from the grocery store. Perfect consistency. The ice cream inside, some of the best ice cream I've ever had. The dough is perfect and they're not as messy as they normally are. This tastes like some Chick-fil-A milkshake type shit. The ice cream in the middle has the consistency of ice cream and whipped cream mixed together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of throw this stuff in the refrigerator, even though I'm gonna go back in and clean it. But I'd rather the stuff go ahead and, you know, stay refrigerated while I eat some lunch so it doesn't completely melt and it doesn't pair any sooner than it should as all my food normally does my fridge is like it's just not organized whatsoever and I know there's shit rotting in here and it's smelling a little funky so it's definitely something rotting in there so for now I'm literally just throwing shit in there because it's gonna come right back out Okay, that's good enough for now. So now I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna get a tortilla out. Oh, and I'm also gonna use some of this arugula just so I can get some greens in there. But we're gonna open up this little platter. This is what it looks like, smells amazing. Okay, so this is what I'm eating for lunch. We have the wraps with mayo, mozzarella, salami, arugula, salt and pepper, and that's it. And then we got some chopped up strawberries. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I feel so good. Wash my body, moisturize. Let me show you guys this body wash that is literally so bomb. This body wash right here, snowflakes and cashmere moisturizing body wash from Bath & Body Works. Fire. It smells so good. It makes the shower smell good. It makes the bathroom smell good. But I'm in my comfy clothes. <sighs> Y'all wasn't supposed to see the bathroom floor. All right, so since it's 6 17, I don't have much time before I have to get on that call. I mean, I still have like a decent amount of time, but we're gonna have to keep it stepping, keep it moving. Not much time for a break. I'm definitely gonna make sure we get into this fridge first because I definitely prefer my fridge over the pantry. This isn't gonna take long, and I actually enjoy cleaning out my fridge, but then he always go to the fridge like he got some snacks in here or something. The pantry? I haven't cleaned this since I moved in, literally. Um, then there's like a second That's not bad, but this I couldn't even tell you what's in there. I barely go in the pantry to be honest Okay, so this is what my refrigerator is looking like. This is the before We're basically we just need to start by taking everything out of the refrigerator and then wipe it down clean it up And then when it's time to put everything back in the fridge I'll figure out like what I actually want to put back in and what's literally rotting and probably affecting my health Okay, so now that my, ah, I forgot about all this shit, literally. Okay, so now that I'm actually done, first we're gonna spray it down with a cleaning solution. I'm gonna use this cleaner right here. This is the Method All Purpose Line Plus Sea Salt Cleaner. It looks like this. Literally a whole ass cracked egg in here, along with some jalapeno, that's cute. So now that it's all sprayed down, we're gonna wipe it down. So I'm done actually like wiping down the fridge. I love doing, I'm ah, not, I forgot about the shelves again. So as I was saying, cleaning out the fridge is actually super therapeutic. It's super satisfying once you're all done. You go to open the fridge and first of all, it doesn't look super cluttered. It's not overwhelming when you first open the fridge and then also it just smells super nice. Now it's time to go through this food and figure out what needs to be thrown away, like what's literally rotting and then what goes back in the fridge. Cause sometimes living alone, it's hard to keep up on food. It honestly does take time to learn how much of this you eat, when you should be done using it by, when you need to cook certain meals with this item so it doesn't rot. One of the shelves is missing. It's in the sink because I need to wash it because it has a whole ass egg cracked in it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff away first because I uh, can't even get to the sink at the moment. Milk. Just got this. So we're good. This orange juice I got before Alyssa came. Best used by December 19th. That's in like a couple days but uh, I just got juice so it smells okay. I'm definitely not gonna finish it by that time and honestly I'm scared to drink it at this point. 
I don't know if that's me knowing it's going bad soon or it tasting a little funky. Honestly, I'm gonna be paranoid if I drink a whole cup of this knowing it's going bad soon. It doesn't taste bad, but I just got orange juice and this has been in here for like a month, so I'm good. Mellow yellow, this is old. I don't want that. Pineapple juice, I know this shit is old. Let's go ahead and get a trash bag and just start figuring out if things need to be thrown away or put back in the refrigerator. Okay, so it's already looking so much better. There was no reason for my fridge to be looking the way it was looking, but it happened. It definitely happens, but oh my gosh. Like I open the fridge and I see exactly what I have to eat. And I'm not gonna go pick something up out of the fridge and be like, oh shit, this should have been thrown away a month ago. Love it. But um, before I fill up the drawers, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these dishes. Well, I need to put these away first, but I'm gonna wash these because this is Tupperware. That should have been, I couldn't even tell you when I made this. And then I need to wash this drawer because I wanna fill them all up at the same time. Time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that the drawer is clean and back in the fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the shelves with everything that I plan on keeping. Okay, so the freezer I went through not long ago, but I am just gonna take everything out, make sure I'm actually using everything that's in here. But the good thing about the freezer, nothing really goes bad for a very, 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 very long time. So I don't think I'll be throwing much away. Anything I'm throwing away will just be things I'll probably never eat. From what I'm seeing, I don't think that's gonna be much. I think I'm gonna keep a majority of this stuff. So now that both my fridge and the freezer are clean, I'm just gonna actually wipe down the outside pantry. Damn, looks like we're not gonna have enough time tonight. Uh, that, that just uh, really sucks, doesn't it? Tomorrow I have a laid back day. So I'm gonna get this done tomorrow. I also wanted to mop, still have laundry to do. I'm gonna at least put a load in because that's not time consuming. Anything else, fuck that shit. We got it tomorrow, we got time. I always think I'm gonna get a bunch of shit done the night of, like it doesn't take time. <laughs> This is all the stuff I need to throw away and then I have a trash bag full in my closet that my trash can is in and it smells horrible. So I'm gonna take that out as well. I'm gonna wipe down the fridge first with the stainless steel wipes. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do before this call is wipe down the counter, but for me to do that, I need to obviously clean it off. I don't even have like a workspace, so I'm just gonna get everything off of here, wipe it down, and then the laundry. I just took all that shit out of the laundry basket, but we're gonna get to that after the call, because I don't think the call is gonna take too long, but it's all good stuff. Okay, so the call that I have, or it's a Zoom, I'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled up. So once the time does come, I have that ready to go and we can have that set up. But then I also have a creative concept to turn in for a brand. So I'm gonna do that before I get on this call. We about to hop on this Zoom. Hey. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Doing good. All right, so it is 8.58 now and I'm off the call. Didn't even take a full hour. So now, uh, maybe I should at least get a load of laundry in and then just let it do its thing overnight because huh, I am not folding no laundry tonight. Some of these clothes are actually clean, but my brother slept over, Simi slept over for two nights. He was like doing laundry when he was here and I just had shit sitting in the dryer. So of course he didn't know where to put it. So he put it in the laundry basket next to the washing machine on top of dirty clothes. And now I'm uncomfortable and I don't know what's dirty and what's not. So we're just gonna wash everything again. It's fine. I wouldn't know what to do with it either. I'm confused if I own cats or pigs because I come out from the bathroom. That whole thing of vanilla meringues all over the counter. Some are on the floor. Louie over here eating one like, meringues? Y'all that desperate? Y'all really acting like I never feed you. Like I never feed you. Like, what is this? Don't even get me started on that watery ass, smelly ass, messy ass, dirty ass shit. Diarrhea that Louie took the other day. Oh, walked into shit, footprint all over the floor, all over the bar stools, on the couch, everywhere. He literally stepped. That was on me though, because I fed them wet cat food because I didn't have dry food. Never again. Y'all lost that privilege, but they be eating up whatever I give them, so. We got a load in the washing machine, but I'm about to put on some sweatpants because I gotta take the trash out. And by out, I just mean down the hall to the trash chute. But I'm not about to go out in these booty shorts because I'll be uncomfortable and my ass is eating them anyway, so. Okay. Don't look. Ah, literally my claws tearing up my sweats. Really? Are acrylic toes that worth it, babe? Okay, and then I'm gonna wear my Crocs. Not me now getting excited to wear them. If you follow my spam, you would have been new, but sis did. 
I did cave. I got some Crocs. I would wear socks, but I'm just going down the hall. Actually, no, I am going to put on socks. I'm going to get some fuzzy socks. I look like somebody's mom going to the gas station as I should. Fuzzy socks with fuzzy Crocs? I'm excited to see how this feels. They're so comfortable, like, by themselves. Get off my laptop. I swear they know what they're doing. Anyways, let's first take out. <sighs> oh, look, my cargo pants came in. Just in time, right? Trash can still broke, broke as fuck. I'm gonna need to go down there twice. This bag, actually, why don't I hold both bags at the same time? How about that? But then again, the other one's probably heavy as fuck because it got like a lot of shit in it that was in my refrigerator, we'll see. It's not even, it just turned nine o'clock, so I may, if I'm still up, I'll probably still do this laundry. This load will definitely be done before I go to sleep. I could fold that and at least put a new one in tonight because I know I'll be up anyway, so I might as well do it. But this one is fine. Let's see how heavy the other one is. Let me close that. Why is this open? Ah, I'm scared. Oh, look, I mean, I could drag it. I would bring them both down at the same time. I just can't see anybody in the hallway. That would be embarrassing as fuck. Yeah, um, ah, this shit got to rip before I even get there. Y'all like my outfit? All right, I've been procrastinating. Procra I've been procrastinating taking the trash out down the hall for like 20 minutes, so let's go. And I also just really don't want to be seen. Yo, this shit is leaking, bro. Really leaking? <laughs> <laughs> First bag done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swiffer the floor because there's trash liquid on it. Okay, let me just show you guys my editing snacks for the night. I'm literally so excited about this. We got that avocado dip that I was telling you guys about earlier. Got some apple chips, pita chips to dip in this dip and then also some matcha ice cream this shit is fire but yeah guys it is 10 o'clock at night and i'm about to wind down i already showered earlier so i'm not gonna worry about doing that again i am about to just sit at the table and edit for at least like i would say an hour and a half and then after that i'm gonna get in bed but i'm so excited to eat in the process i hope you guys enjoyed me taking you throughout my day beginning to end anytime i film vlogs like this i literally take you guys through my whole day from the very beginning when i first wake up to the end when i'm getting ready to go to sleep that's gonna be it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have got to the end of this video and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you hated it give it a thumbs down thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye.